This morning, the destination is Santa Elena Canyon on the Rio Grande River. Santa Elena has the tallest cliffs forming the canyon wall up to 1,500 feet. Returning to Tolingo, it was a pleasure to listen to some homegrown piano picking and some picking and grinning on the porch. The noise of the wind in this video is horrific, but it always blows down there. I did my best to clean it up, but it's still annoying. I just can't get over the beauty here. I mean, it's like, wow. There's a little bird down there. I think that's the BB Roadrunner bird. This thing just dart across the highway, but they're fast. Can you see them there in the bushes? Get this thing adjusted here. Let's do a reverse pan times two. We're at 4,200 feet, 4,259 to be exact, and it's kind of chilly up here. So right here, right there. That's Santa Elena Canyon, where the canyon begins, and that's my destination. It's quiet out here. It's very quiet. You know, once in a while, these cactus are purple. What's up with that? I guess they just feel like being foam. Everywhere you look, there's mountains. Just mountains. Strata of different formations over eons of time. I'm liking Big Ben. So glad I came here. From the mountain top where I took those pictures at about 4,200 feet down to this canyon. Tough canyon. Imagine how many eons of time it took to carve this canyon out. And yet when this was done prior to the canyon being carved, you see that sedimentary band that already existed in this world up here. It already existed. It just amazes me. Had any flash floods here lately because you have plants and stuff going down there. Let's walk on down here to the other one. Look at that. Just jutting up out of the landscape. And then it enters, looks like the valley floor. At the base of that mountain, you can see the highway. That I'll be crossing shortly. Just amazing. It's beyond my imagination how long it took to carve this channel through solid rock. But there's a lot of mountains up there to gather rain. 
earlier on top of the mountain, I ran into a family of five from Houston. And they asked me if I'd seen any wildlife. And I said, well, the only thing that I've seen are these little chaparrales, you know, the things that Wiley Coyote chased. They dart across the road every once in a while, pew, like a lightning bolt. In those mountains back there, they went for a hike and spotted three bears. My wife told me that some of the areas are closed off because there's been problems with bears. So obviously they didn't go to them. If you look right there in the center, let me zoom in here. That's Santa Elena Canyon. That's my destination. Saw that white stuff? That looks gray maybe in the film. That's ash from volcanic eruptions throughout the ages. Just everywhere deposited. It's a mixture of ash and clay, maybe some gravel. Oh, there's my Santa Elena Canyon. Getting closer. Just look at this. And if you look up here, you can see the different formations of lava that have flowed. Okay, let's see if I can slowly turn the <laughs> That's Miss Ways. She's impatient. She wants me to go. She doesn't understand. I gotta get this video. And there's Santa Helena. Hopefully next stop. Maybe not. Too many things to see. This is a watercraft launching area right here and right here this is the Rio Grande flows from way up in Colorado I crossed that several times July a year ago in Colorado and that right there that's the Republic of Mexico interesting Now, I should be questioning my own sanity that I, am I actually going to do this? It's, it's an hour or something like that. It's a long ways. But anyway, here goes. Mexico is on the left. Texas is on the right, as it well should be. I told those folks I wasn't expecting a beach. That's just sand. And uh, she's more than halfway across, so she's in Mexico. One thing that did surprise me here is how beautiful 
the river rocks are. Why are they? They're blues and grays, pinks, all sorts of colors. The water is nice and cool. Ooh, it feels refreshing. I might be in Mexico because I think I'm more than halfway across. Hmm. I wonder how that big old rock there, just above the water in the middle, how that thing broke off. That's weird. Now, I heard voices that picked up, and I see stairs over here. And right up here. There's a guy. Where's he at? Find him here. Right, there he is. The guy in a green shirt. Let me see a person in a green shirt and a person in a red shirt. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Sound really curious out here. How do you get to those stairs? Do I want to find out? Looking back across the river at the great state of Texas. Those are the mountains I came through a while ago. Up there I was at 4,200 feet. It's nice and cool down here and it's cold. I mean, it's hot. What am I talking about? I'm sweating. Okay, what my inquiring mind wants to know is how did those columns, those lava tubes that are shooting up, how did those things form? Inquiring minds want to know, is there any geologist watching this? Well, if I get edgy boots, she would know. Hey, I'll translate her. Translate her. Hang on, piano. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Batman thing song? <laughs> playing the piano. And he's an artist and he's a hoodoo hooper. That kid's got talent. I'm really loving it here. That's where the kid was playing the piano. This has been a fun, memorable day, and as I see the sun beginning to set, I'm thinking that tomorrow I will feel the need to rise early and head on to Fort Layton. <laughs>